Cheers and welcome my friends, I'm Honotrak and we are playing uh, FTL Advanced Edition with the Slug Cruiser Type A. Welcome back. In the last episode we were on the verge of destruction, <laughs> but we managed to actually reach a store. We also um, bought something that I'm going to install right now. We bought a new laser, a chain um, burst laser with two charges. These are actually pretty good. I mean, these actually stay um, viable until the end game. So we're going to... Um, exchange our breach uh, bomb uh, teleporter hopefully that'll work in my favor so i can activate these guys i really should add more to the weapon system so that i can have the anti-bio beam activated as well but this will help us quite a bit because as soon as we have actually loaded these up to the maximum effect um we'll be able to switch on the bio beam then because uh, the um chain lasers chain charge cap seven really no after three volleys it only takes seven seconds to charge yeah so we need to th shoot three times with these and then they'll be really fast firing and that's what i want um right other than that that's nothing too crazy we have undertaken a quest to uh, lead some people to um a destination people that had their FTL drive destroyed. Now what I want to do is I want to jump over here, then over here, then to the quest location, then make my way back up over here. That might be a good idea because I don't really want to lose too many of those locations. We have to explore, we have to gain more scrap. Your ship is hailed. This is an automated message. Resisting our takeover is pointless. Prepare to die. It appears this rebel ship is run by an AI. Alright then. So we won't really be using our beam laser then. Um, so we're gonna start with the chain laser. Try to take down their weapons. They don't have any shields, so we're also gonna we're gonna just target everything. Target everything. Get on with it. They do have irons. They do have. Um, yeah, I really don't like that. <laughs> we're gonna go for the weapons first. We're gonna go for the weapons first. Go for the other stuff in the second salvo. Okay, yeah, that removed most of their stuff. Now they're down to one laser, which is good. And all their weapons are down. Now let's go ahead. Let's actually destroy their ability to go anywhere. Come on. Okay, it's still charging. That's not good. <laughs> that is not good. Um, chain laser is still taking its sweet time. If we can land one more hit, the thing will go down um, in any case. Yes, okay, so the FTL charging was actually not, not a problem. The ship breaks apart and you feel relief in the knowledge that you will hopefully still be one step ahead of the fleet. Um, gain some scrap, gain an anti-ship fire drone. These are pretty cool. We don't have a drone control thing, but um, I like it. Repeatedly attacks with a small beam weapon that lights rooms on fire. And the thing is, um, the fire is sort of depopulating ships as well, which is nice, but let's just make our way towards um, our goal. You cross paths with a Mantis ship that looks to have had dozens of uh, layers of armor plating added over what must have been a hundred year career. This captain is legendary thief Kazakh Plethkilik. Your crew look frightened. We're gonna prepare to fight. That is actually a shame. Um, if you have a certain amount of, if you have a teleporter or a high level sensors and uh, an upgraded med bay and you can depopulate the ship, you're actually able to... Um, you're actually able to gain the Mantis Cruiser. Which is kind of nice. I don't have a transport thing though. But I could jump out, sell the stuff that I have, upgrade my sensors. Although I don't even have sensors. Yeah, no, we're not really geared towards doing this. All right then. Um, let's make sure that we... Actually, I'm not going to fire anything here. We're going to wait until everything is leveled up. Um, right, Sedge, we need some help in the cabin. Come on. Kill them. Being attacked here. Um, right, let's make sure that we can fire all of these at the same time. Right, everything is up now. So let's go with the chain lasers and the dual lasers. And then we're going to send the heavy lasers after it. Um, Pyramus, I really don't want you dying, so go into the med bay. And we're gonna have Sedge finish the guy off. Okay, that worked. Did a fair amount of damage to their shields. They're down to one shield ring now. That's good. So let's send our pilot back. Pull Sedge out of there. 
Actually, I should have left you there. Crap. <laughs> oh well. Oh well. We'll deal with it. Um, so we've got the chain laser. We really do want to take out their, um, their people as well. Um, let's see what the chain laser does. Okay. Their med bay is destroyed. So tell you what, we're actually going to target their weapons. Although they're not a problem really, because they can't punch through our shields. They're just too weak to do that. We have two shield rings and they, the beam can only cut through um, as many levels or layers of shields as it has damage. And this doesn't look like it has enough. So I think we might just fire one more over there. Um, yeah, let's make sure that the shields are down. Okay, and now we actually gotta um, load up the anti-bio beam and maybe try to take them out. You can see that they're repairing their um, med bay, but it hasn't happened yet. So hopefully our anti-bio beam comes up before we um, before they can repair the thing fully. Yes, no more life signs are detected aboard their ship. You appear to have one. We're gonna move in to strip the ship. It seems almost a waste for such a fierce foe to die in such an anticlimactic fashion. You shrug it off and take what you can. Yeah, that is a game hinting that I could have gotten more out of this if I um, had been properly prepared, but... Yeah, oh well. <laughs> oh well, that's how it goes. Uh, we're cutting it close again. We're cutting it pretty close again. Um, what could we upgrade? I could upgrade the weapon controls a little bit more. I also really would like to upgrade the shields and the engines. Engines would actually be kind of important. Well, I'm going to keep it if I run across another shop. Let's have Pyramus um, quickly healed so that we don't lose him. Losing um, upgraded people is pretty bad. You can see that he's almost at the next level for piloting, which gives him 5% evasion rating. That's good. Um, all right. Uh, let's jump into the quest thingy. Let's do it. Shortly after you arrive, the ship you were escorting chums nearby. They thank you for your help and offer you a reward. Okay, thank you. I take that. Um, yeah, I guess we gotta hurry a little bit, so let's jump up there. Cutting it close here. You detect it and retrieve an escape pod floating nearby. You consider returning it to space when you learn it's Mantis. Hmm, I really wouldn't mind having another Mantis crew member, because then I could start building an... Um, a boarding team. We're gonna pry it open. Atlas is gone! The mantis inside is furious. He cuts the closest person in half with a single swipe. Kill it before anyone else is hurt. No! We lost Alice! Why? <sighs> I mean, I guess I should have known better. But there is a chance to actually get a mantis crew member there. Shame. Really. Crap. And Weep is also hurt. Gotta heal those guys. And then I guess we gotta do a little bit of a rebalancing. Sedge will have to take over the door controls. Uh, I've gotta save that. Mm, there's a distress beacon over here. I mean, we're gonna have to take two nodes in any case to get to the exit point. So we might as well go for the distress. Let's see if we can help. You arrive at the distress beacon near a small... <laughs> and I've completely... covered myself in... tea. That's shitty. <laughs> grand. Just grand. Right. I've mopped up the tea. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> Let's just let's just continue. We lost Alice, which is pretty bad. That's pretty bad actually. But it was worth it trying to get a mantis because they are the best um, boarding people by a large margin. Well, we arrive at the distress beacon near a small asteroid belt and find a ship with pirate markings partially crushed between two large rocks. It must have been illegally mining the belt without proper equipment. Um, I mean, if we get attacked by pirates, that's one thing. But I guess we're gonna try to help here. Just pirates. That's never a good thing to dehumanize your enemies. Not a very Federation thing to do. So, yeah, we're gonna try to dislodge the ship. 
You fire a few volleys into the rock and it starts to shudder and break apart. Without shields, the pirate ship takes a beating but eventually pulls free. They thank you for your assistance. Yeah, okay. You're welcome. Um, right, yeah, and we're paused. But the jump should come up immediately. Right. Yeah, we're cutting it super close. I'm actually glad that I didn't take the leftmost part. Although we could have jumped to the right as well. But, yeah, still. <laughs> You over here, Mantis Comp Chatter. Agreed. Next ship is your turn. Good hunting. They don't see you yet. Yeah, we're gonna attack the ship, of course. Um, what do they have? They have two Mantis and an NG. They have shields, but they're not great. Yeah, I think we can take on that ship. So, I think we will. Just waiting for my stuff to come up. I don't really have to wait on the chain laser right now. Looks like they have a chain laser as well. Well, or is it just a dual laser? I think that's the thing. I think it's just a dual laser. Um, we might actually just start destroying their shields already. Um, send a heavy laser after it. Ah, oh, crap. And I wasted it. So we're going to send the chain laser in there. Come on, people. And more dual laser. More heavy laser. Okay. And now I'm actually going to switch these guys off because we really want to use the bio beam. They don't have a med bay and they just bungled um, one of their bombs. It didn't hit us. We have 24% evasion. Hmm. I really have to time this right now because I don't want to do too much damage. And they brought up their shields again though. That's annoying. And they're completely up with their shields now. Okay, one of them is dead. Let's just try to do this. Um, maybe something like that. Yes, we managed to kill off the Angie. So they only have... <clears throat> or Angie. They only have the Mantis now. It's gonna be close, though. It's gonna be very close. And they've actually managed to beam a bomb aboard. We've got to wait until our bio beam is up. And someone leveled up in terms of, yeah, our pilot and our engineer have both leveled up, Pyramus and Chris. So now we have 30% evasion, even with very basic engines. That's really good. Um, come on, Biobeam. And it's ready. So let's target the shields. Okay. And let's make that happen. Yes! There are no more life signs remaining on the ship. You strip it of useful materials. Very good, very good. I think that went rather well. And we're actually managing to pull out of the sector just before the rebel fleet arrives. So, very successful um, so far. Um, I could theoretically upgrade the ship. Um, maybe put some shields on it. But I'm hoping that I will encounter a store in the next sector fairly soon. So, we're actually going to try this. Um, ship refueling station is stationed at this beacon. We can purchase fuel here. We're still fine on fuel, but it's it's very cheap. It's really cheap. Mm, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, we can either have NG controlled or Zoltan homeworlds. Which one will give me more enemies? Looks like this one will give me more reds. So I'm going to go for the NG controlled then. That's fine, I guess. Okay, you have arrived in NG space. The fall of the Federation has brought tough times for these robotic life forms, but they're usually willing to help. Yes! <laughs> and my prudence has actually paid off big time, because now I can visit various stores. I like it. So let's let's use the first one. What we really need is the weapon pre-igniter. An NG ship hails. Engine upgrade necessary for travel home. Sale of equipment necessary for engine upgrade. Ah, we're actually getting the crew teleporter now. We also have an iron stunner. That's nice. Drone recovery arm is nice. Oh, and they're selling a Zoltan. These guys are very nice because they have... Um, they give one power to whatever system they are stationed in. Which is really cool. We could sell something. I really don't plan on using the fire drone. And I don't think we're going to use the breach bomb anymore. Just because we have better weapons now. Um, so I definitely have my pick. Um, crew teleporter. I think it's a good idea. 
I think teleporting will help us in the long run. I really would like to buy a a cloaking device though. That would make me even happier. Tell you what, we're actually gonna try and see what's in the other store. We can allow ourselves that kind of luxury. I really don't want to spend my money for nothing. Okay, message arrives. Your scrap ours. Our weapons for you. You're about to raise the shields when you realize it's just an NG trader looking for a trade. Yes, and we do indeed have the cloaking thing, but we also have the weapon pre-igniter. That's, I think that's the best augment that you can, because then um, your weapons arrive pre-charged when you come into a system um, after an FDL jump, which is amazing. And they're also offering the stealth weapons. Um, if you are cloaked um, and you shoot, that reduces the time that you can stay in the cloak, so... Getting those two would actually be really good, but I think we've got to go for the weapon pre-igniter, of course. If we, if they are offering, we gotta, we gotta get it. That's just um, a game changer, pretty much, because you can um, shoot your first salvo on your enemy without having to wait um, until they have charged up. That's a, that's huge, actually. Um, I won't be able to get the cloaking right now. I won't be able to get the cloaking, um, and I'm also not able to get the transport thing. All right then, guess I'm just gonna live with it. I would have liked to get the the Zoltan crew member. How do we get to the exit? Okay, like this. The Zoltan will give us one more energy, but we're really not short on energy at the moment. Hmm. I do want the Zoltan though. Hmm. Yeah, no, I think we can live without the Sultan. And we could, although the Sultan had actually um, a fairly high level in weapons, having a Sultan in weapons is actually a really good idea. Yeah, okay, we're gonna we're gonna go for the Sultan crew member. Yeah, okay. Um, John, welcome to the ship. So John can do two things. He can pilot. And he can control weapons, which is pretty nice if we ever have a problem with piloting and stuff. Okay. I mean, maybe I should should just train him towards piloting. The problem is um, the boost to energy is kind of wasted um, if you put him piloting because the subsystems don't really need power of their own. So that's a bit of a shame then. Um, okay. We've got one additional energy that we don't need, but what I could do... Um, I mean, we got the store. Can I sell anything else? Not really. Scrap recovery arm I want to keep. You know, let's keep it like that. But what I could do is I could upgrade the engines. I think I will. Having a bit of a higher evasion rate is certainly going to help us um, in future encounters. We have pushed our evasion rate up to 35%. So let's jump to the store. Let's check out the distress beacon up there and then make our way to the exit. Hmm... Yeah, we kind of have to... Okay, this is the way that we reach the exit. We're definitely cutting it close here. <laughs> All right, then. Uh, ship without life forms within a nearby dense asteroid field is giving off the distress call. Show we investigate. It could be dangerous. Yeah, let's search for the ship. You'll find what appears to be pieces of a derelict ship coated with ice or crystal. Before you have a chance to dock, a few asteroids get past your shields and partially damage your engines. You'll have to pull out. Yeah, grand. Absolutely grand. Oh yeah, and the these guys always only chain the first weapon. So we've got to switch these guys around in a manner that helps us. Something like this, I guess. Okay, and I almost um, spilled my tea again. <laughs> I'm not learning. I'm not learning. Okay, let's come down here. Then we need to take that one, move over there, and then we'll be able to explore this area of space. So jump down there. We're pretty badly damaged by now. Pirate ship was lying in wait outside this asteroid field. It immediately moves into attack. Okay, we've got to turn and fight, but our weapons are already up, which gives us a huge advantage here. So let's go for the shields. I should I just go directly for the weapon systems. 
could be worth it since I don't want to take any more damage here. Yeah, let's go for it. And then we're going to send the heavy laser after it. Yeah, okay. That actually did not do enough damage. That's annoying. Come on. Load up. Um, so let's send the dual laser. Let's send the heavy laser. And the weapons are down. Very good. Very good. Okay, chain laser. You're going to help me. I could just take these guys out now. You know, let's, let's go for the shields. We're going to shoot one more salvo with the dual lasers and the heavy lasers. And then we're going to be fine here, I think. So, one more hit for the shields. Um, heavy laser. Yeah. One more shield hit and then we're going to power up the anti-bio beam. Um, they're ready to surrender now. They offer to give you some of their goods if you don't destroy their ship. Um, I really want, just want to take all of it, so no, I will not accept the surrender. I could always... Ah, oh, and they got killed by an asteroid. Crap. Ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. Okay, then. Shame. That's a real shame. Okay, we're gonna take this one. To actually get out of there. I mean, I could also go for the other things. Nah. Maybe we we'll find another distress call or something. Uh, someone offering more fuel. Let's buy three more fuel here. Yeah, and there's indeed a distress call. Nice. <laughs> that worked out. Your cockpit lights up with warning signals. You're being targeted by a nearby ship. The distress call was a lure to attract unwitting ships into weapons range. You prepare for a fight. Yeah, crap. Now I've kind of screwed myself. Um, although... What I could do, I mean, I got the bio beam up, so we might as well use it. Let's target the shields. Um, yeah, we didn't did not manage to take the shields down. That's crap. I should have deactivated the anti bio beam, but I couldn't. I I forgot. Come on. All right then. So let's try this again. Target the shields. Target the shields. And then send the heavy after it. Okay, that did it. Shields are down. Um, reliably, I'd say. So, let's actually turn these guys off. Let's go for the bio beam again. And we're going to have you... Um, maybe attack the... Oh, no. Actually, they do have a cloning bay in there. I really don't want that. Hmm. I mismanaged the bomb. Let's go for this, and let's try to kill them off. That guy still survived, but the NG is dead. This looks like a Zoltan, although it could also be a human, but the Zoltan should actually have died fairly quickly. Okay, now I think it is a human. Okay, now the dude is dead. Um, they're gonna come out of their cloning bay again, which is gonna be annoying. Come on, shoot! Yes! <laughs> there are no more life signs remaining on the ship. You strip it of useful materials. Very good. So, I mean, we're really badly hurt. There's a store over there. That's cutting it close. Yeah, no. We won't be able to hit up that store, which is a shame. It's a damn shame, but I have no choice because we won't be able to get out of the area. And that's going to be pretty bad. And again, I didn't change my weapons. God damn it. An anti ship in the vicinity seeing you jump in armed to the teeth immediately broadcasts its surrender. Subject goal, wealth. Engine motivation, survival. Transfer of goods acceptable. Yeah, why not? The NG obediently transfer over the goods and get on their way. Money for nothing. And chicks for free. <laughs> All right, then. Let's make sure that uh, the weapons are actually charged. The correct weapons whenever I jump into a system. How is it looking, John? Um, oh, actually, I haven't renamed John. Um, John is going to be renamed to Kevin. Hello, Kevin. Welcome. Um, 
Yeah, that is as I thought. We would just be able to get out of the sector. The exit is actually lying not great. But I dare not um, fight against the fleet. You come across an asteroid mining colony. They message you immediately saying, Greetings, our supplies of mining explosives have run out ever since the rebels blockaded the system. Do you have any extra explosives? So they're requesting five. We could also give them 15, which I will do. Um, wow, this will help our efforts considerably. What could I offer for your troubles? After some time, they deliver a ship augment for installation on your ship. We get the automated reloader, um, which reduces the cooldown between weapon shots by 10%. That's really nice. Drag and drop to swap augments. Yeah, you can't really store these. Slug repair gel is pretty good. I think we're gonna just swap out the scrap recovery arm now. It's a shame, but I think it did its job. The weapon pre-igniter and the automated reloader are just more important. Um, so let's jump into the next sector. We're gonna go into the pirate controlled one to gain even more chances for glory and attack and all that kind of stuff. If the reports are true, this area has been under the control um, of pirates for quite some time. Some traders still attempt to trade with the few settlements that remain, but they do so at great risk. All right, then. And there's no store in sight, which is a bit of a shame. How do we get to the exit? So we have two. All right. Yeah, that's fairly straightforward. So no problem there. Hmm, I really should upgrade my shields further. If I do that, then I can even get an additional power bar. I could also upgrade my weapons though, so that I can have all the weapons running at the same time. That would be kind of useful, because then we could kill off ships really fast. Um, offense or defense, that's oftentimes the question. Well, I'm going to I'm going to save the scrap and we'll see what we encounter. We're fairly powerful as of as of right now. Once you arrive, your screen lights up with warnings. A nearby pirate seems to have advanced hacking tools and they've tried to shut down your engines. Your crew manages to keep them badly operational and you move into attack. Okay, thank you for nothing there. Um, they do have the Zoltan Super Shield, so we um, this shield will also stop rockets or anything. We don't care about that really. We just have to deplete it with as many shots as possible. Yeah, you can see that it goes down. It can only be um, upgraded with um, hyper jumps. Let's just wait uh, for a second until all the weapons are up. All right then, so let's go for it. Dual lasers, let's send all these guys out and then we're gonna send the heavy laser after it. Yes, okay, very good. So their shields are down now. They only have a beam and a laser weapon, but they have a fairly heavy crew, so we really have to get started with um, taking them out soonish. Though they don't have a med bay that's actually playing into my hands here. I'm gonna make one more attack on their shields. And send a heavy one after it. Maybe attacking that guy. Or maybe the helm. Yeah, no, let's go for one more shield hit. And then we're gonna turn these guys off, turn on the anti-bio beam. And we miss with our heavy laser, that's unfortunate. Um, let's try to keep the shields down, actually. Nope, don't work. Gotta wait for the anti-bio beam until that one is up. Come on, okay, let's go for it now. Um, and I really wanna take these guys out. Okay, we've got a second one out there. That's good. Um, Hull is reaching a dangerous point though. They only have four left. Definitely have to punch through this. Uh, we missed all the shots. Great, grand. Just waiting for the bio beam to come up here. And then we're gonna try it again, come on. No, come on, what's happening? Stop missing. And they're gonna have their second thing up um, right now. Yeah, I'm not able to use my beam as long as they have their shields up, which is annoying as hell. Okay, well, I can, I can do it now. Okay, that did something. And they hit our weapon systems. That's shitty. 
Um, forget the duels. Go for the weapons. I guess I can just go for another dual laser here. Try to really take down their shields. Come on. Okay, very good. Let's turn on the anti-bio beam again. And we're gonna set these guys to shoot. Our hull is critical now. I really should stop playing games, I guess. Maybe just destroy the bloody thing. But I want the additional scrap that comes from... going for this kind of thing. And we missed again. Man! These guys must have a high evasion level. Come on. Oh, their shields are down. I guess they have fires in there. That's really good. Okay, then. I'm not one to say no to an opportunity like that. Um, we're gonna kill their, um, that guy up there, because he must be heavily hurt already. And with the pirate ship disabled, your engines come online again. You salvage what you can from their ship. Nice. <laughs> That's a lot of scrap. I mean, we're also only barely scraping by now. We're very low on hell. Um, but uh, I think I've reached uh, 30 minutes now. It's a bit difficult to, because um, I, I got to cut these um, two uh, video parts together where I spill the tea and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, for now, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you didn't, tell me why in the comments so I can improve. And if you want to see more of the series in the future, please consider subscribing to the channel. I do hope that you join me next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.